is the Creative Church Show. Tips, tricks, and shortcuts making church media easy for you and your team. All in under 10 minutes each week. Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to the Creative Church Show podcast. My name is Josh from joshblankenship.me. I am super excited to be back with you for episode number 39 of the Creative Church Show podcast. Been away for a little bit and so I'm excited to get back in the swing of things, talking all things social and church media with you guys. Today what I want to focus on is Facebook. Now, Facebook has eluded a lot of people when it comes to getting that engagement. And engagement is simply getting people to like, share, and comment on your Facebook posts without having to pay for it. A lot of people call this the organic reach of your posts. And a lot of uh, church leaders are struggling to get people that have already liked their page to engage with their posts on a daily and on a weekly basis. So what I want to do today is I want to give you six Facebook post ideas that are going to help you get more engagement on your church page. There are certain tricks and things that you can do in Facebook to increase your organic reach that will allow you to reach more people without having to pay the boosting or to pay for an ad to run. There are some things that you can do on Facebook to get people to interact with your church's content. So what I want to do is I want to run through the top six ways that I've found that you can increase that engagement. So the first one I want to talk about is polls. Now, a poll is really simple to run on Facebook. It doesn't have to be any special third-party software. You can just ask people for their answer in the comment section. You can ask um, your congregations to vote on a new sermon series, or you can even ask them to vote on a new worship song. I've done this in the past where I'll come up with three worship song ideas that we're going to introduce, and then I will let people vote on which one they would like to hear our worship team do. And basically, you can use these polls to engage your audience. People like to have their opinion heard, and one of the best ways to do that is to run a poll on your Facebook page. The key to this one is just asking questions and getting answers from people. The more people are answering and putting their comments on your post, the more engagement you're going to get. The second one I want to talk about is fill in the blanks. Now, fill in the blanks is very similar to running a poll, but for whatever reason, people love to fill in blanks. Um, the most effective types of fill in the blank posts are the ones that lets your fans and your followers and people in your church share their creative ideas. So one thing I've done in the past is maybe like my favorite part of this weekend's worship experience was blank. And it allows people to get creative with their answers. Some people will answer, you know, serving in the children's ministry, or some people will answer, you know, a specific worship song or a specific moment in your church's service. So a fill in the blank is a great way to get people taking action on your Facebook posts. And once they start to do that, you'll really start to see more engagement on your posts. The third thing that I like to do is run a hashtag contest. Now basically in this one, you're just challenging your congregation to maybe take photos while they're at your service or even at an event. And you can even give prizes away to the best photo. You simply just select a hashtag. For me, since my church is named LifeQuest, I use the hashtag LifeQuestLive. We ask people to take a picture, post it on Facebook, or even Instagram, or any of the social networks that you are using. And with that hashtag, as long as it has that hashtag, we will take those photos at the end of the week or end of the month or whatever the contest is, and we will pick a winner and that person will win a simple little prize. 
But basically what this does is it gets people sharing and posting about your church. So the more people that are able to post with that hashtag, the more people are going to see that stuff. So if somebody is posting a, posting a picture with your hashtag, all of their friends are going to see it, not just the people that follow you on your fan page. So running a hashtag contest is just an awesome way to get people that normally wouldn't be involved in your Facebook page a chance to see what you guys are doing. The fourth thing that I like to use is a caption this contest. And a caption this contest is basically all about having a little bit of fun. So maybe your pastor uses odd props on stage or he does a weird visual illustration. That's a perfect time to post that picture and just ask people on your page to caption this. You'll be amazed at some of the answers that you get. Um, you can also have a staff member maybe make a funny face or wear a funny costume to promote a kid's event. Whatever it is, run a caption this contest where you let people get creative, be fun, and share their ideas and opinions about your photo. So running a caption this contest is a fantastic way to get people commenting and engaging with that post so that more people will see it. The next one is tips and tricks. Now if you look on the internet, if you're on Pinterest at all, you, you know that DIY, tips and tricks, that kind of stuff is humongous right now. People love to get little tips and hacks that they can use in their life. How to make your laundry whiter or how to build a a pallet desk, whatever it is, you should continue this trend and use it to your advantage on your church page. So if you're in the middle of a parenting series, giving tips and tricks for how to um, have more family time or how to be a better brother or sister is a great way for people to like and share what you're doing. Um, if you are doing a series on friendship, Share a quick post with five things you can do to be a better friend. Those are the types of things that are going to get shared from your page. And once you get that share, you'll start to see your engagement go up. The last one I want to talk about is a pop quiz. Now, this is just a great way to keep people engaged with what you're doing on the weekends. A lot of pastors struggle to connect Sunday to Monday. This is a great way to use your social channels to do just that. Um, you can ask them what they remember from their from the sermon or even what they've been talking about in their small groups. Just ask questions that are designed to keep the conversation moving forward. A pop quiz is a great way to get people to comment and to answer your question and get more engagement. So I just want to remind you that on Facebook your content has to be relevant and make sure that it's relevant to what your church is doing. Um, once you start to learn to post things that your audience is already engaged in and what they are interested in, you're going to see that organic reach and that engagement go up. Success really on Facebook and any social media platform is all about connecting with your audience and not just having clever content. You can come up with the greatest content you've ever seen, but if you're not able to connect that with your specific audience, you're not going to be very successful on Facebook. So don't try to copy the church down the street. Don't try to do whatever it is that the mega church in the town next to you is doing. Make sure that your content is engaging your specific audience. And sometimes that's going to take work. You're going to have to find where your target audience is and what they are interested in. But once you do that, you will see your engagement crank up and you will start to see that organic reach push more than just the 10% that Facebook allows um, on your Facebook page. So go out there, try some stuff. I'd love to hear from you guys over at joshblankenship.me what you're trying on your Facebook pages what's working for you guys. 
We will talk to you next week. And thanks again for watching and listening to the Creative Church Show. My name is Josh, and I can't wait to see you next week.